Things change, y'all. Sometimes for the good, other times for the bad. And right now, we are in the bad. But today on Budget Lawns, I'm gonna tell you why I'm not worried about that one bit. I think the most important thing I have learned over the last five years as a homeowner taking care of my own lawn is that if you don't take care of it, it will go downhill very quickly. But on the flip side of that, if you do take care of it, it will improve greatly just as fast. Now, sadly, if you spend too much time on the internet, you will be led to believe that if you make one wrong step, it's the end of the world. You might as well just give up. And that's because fear sells, right? It gets you to click, gets you to buy the products. Most of the time, things you don't really need, but what I have found through experience, because there's no substitute for experience, I have found through experience that that is just simply not true. And here's proof. This is my old lawn where for the first couple years I lived there, I didn't show the back lawn any love at all and it looked pathetic. Terrible color. You see the dog pee spots. Those are about the only spots that looked any good at all. But I decided to change that in the third season. And look at the difference a little hard work can make. This this right here is what showed me lawn care is not as complicated as people often make it. So when we built a new house and moved into this new lawn, I wasn't stressing a thing because I had a little experience under my belt and knew I could make it happen. The sod looked pretty pathetic as it started greening up in the spring. Lots of weeds. I mean, just popping up like crazy still. Not a worry in my mind, although people will tell you, you need to get rid of those weeds as soon as possible. I, I took a different approach. I just kept mowing and mowing and knocking those weeds down and slowly they started to become less noticeable, you could say. Undertook some big projects in the back lawn that really changed things big time. Cutting out some flower beds, fixing some grades in certain spots and Wow, this uh, rock feature really turned out nice. I'm telling you, if you've got a vision in your head, you can make it happen. But the most important thing to make it happen is what we talk about here on the channel all the time. Mow a lot, water properly, fertilize regularly, and take care of some weeds. Here, I didn't take care of weeds with herbicides at all, and we were looking really good towards the end of the summer, but that's where we get to where we are now. I've kind of started to slack off. Laid off the fertilizers, been laying off the mowing. Seed heads are running crazy. And if you think it looks bad right here, which I do, it looks even worse now. That was kind of cool. <laughs> Seeing some military helicopters flying over this morning. But I see it in comments of lawn YouTubers videos often, like, I wouldn't listen to this guy, his lawn always looks like crap. Look, I think I just showed you that um, I kinda know what I'm talking about. So sometimes I guess you could say that you should do as I say, not as I do, because I'll tell you this, I kinda mentioned this in a video a couple weeks ago, but I wake up every single morning around five o'clock I eat breakfast and drink coffee with my wife. We all carpool to work together and I drop my wife and kids off at her school and I'm a teacher and I go on to my school. When I'm done for the day, I pick them up and we all come home. We then proceed to sit down and eat a family supper together every single evening. Then we cuddle up on the couch and we watch some sort of movie for the kids to get tired and then we both help put them to bed every single night. And with that said, I really enjoy that too. As a matter of fact, I really enjoy that a whole heck of a lot more than lawn care. So back in the summer when I'm on summer break from teaching, yeah, I'm hitting the lawn as hard as possible because I have the time. But now that school is back in full swing, I don't want to look up one day when all I have is a lawn and I'm an empty nester with my wife with no kids around and think, Man, I wish I would have spent more time with the kids then as opposed to outside in the lawn trying to make every single grass blade look perfect. 
So where I'm out now with a kind of a pathetic looking lawn is I picked them over it. We have not had rain in two weeks. And we don't have rain coming for another week. So it's struggling. I have not mowed in two weeks. So no water, no mowing, very little fertilizer, lots of weeds. You can kind of put all those puzzle pieces together. It looks like crap. But I am not worried about that because I know, just like I just showed you, that when next spring rolls around, I can turn this thing around so fast without question. Uh, I'm not embarrassed to show you this because I'm not one of those YouTubers that's always going to make my lawn look perfect. So here, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is and show you just how bad it looks. If you know me, I really enjoy the off season. So I'm trying to spin this into something positive with the lack of rain and upkeep. The hot spots, they're turning brown. Now, does that mean they're dying? No, they're just checking out. They're just going dormant like they would during the late fall and winter time. So I'm kind of just helping things go dormant a little bit faster and speed up the arrival of my off season. I'm telling you, lawn care is not a game that you get into if it has to be perfect all the time. Because what everyone's not telling you on most of the YouTube channels is how much time they actually spend in the lawn and how many sacrifices that they make that I and possibly you are not willing to make. It's a give and take game. You get out of it what you put into it. Does that mean you have to give your all to have a perfect lawn? Absolutely not. Honestly, I'm kind of hitting that point where I don't even know how important an above average lawn is. I'm gonna be honest, these last two weeks of no lawn care, no mowing, no watering, no nothing. I haven't missed it one bit. I have really been soaking up the time with my family and enjoying this. And in the beginning, I thought, oh man, hope I don't freak out at the way the lawn ends up looking. And here we are. And I have no regrets. Maybe you should try it. All right, my friends, I hope this video helps you if you're trying to find some balance between having a nice lawn and spending the rest of your time. Because I want to tell you that this whole lawn care community online is not just about having pristine, perfect lawns all the time. There's also a group of us that are just regular old Joes, regular homeowners and dads and workers that we put into our lawns what we can and we hope to get the best out of it if possible. And we should be able to enjoy that too. Not always striving for that golf course lawn. Okay, I hope you found some encouragement out of this. I really appreciate you watching as always. Please, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, comment down below. Look y'all, that stuff helps me too. Help me help you. And I will see you next time.